In this video, we'll be discussing what is laparoscopic surgery and what are the advantages of laparoscopic surgery over an open surgery. In an open surgery, usually the surgery is done through an incision or a wound of around 8 to 10 centimeters to visualize the organs within the abdomen. And once the surgery is completed, the patient will have to stay in the hospital for at least 3 to 4 days. The pain which is there after the surgery is quite bad and a lot of analgesics or painkillers will be required to take care of this pain or suppress this pain. Even after the patient is discharged from the hospital, the patient may require another one to two weeks of additional home rest or bed rest at home. And the amount of time required for this wound to heal, a wound of eight to 10 centimeters, might take few weeks or months also. So this is what has made laparoscopic surgery the gold standard of most of the surgeries today. So what is laparoscopic surgery? Laparoscopic surgery is a form of surgery where you perform the surgery through small incisions of maybe maximum 0.5 to 1 centimeters. You use small ports to insert your hand instruments inside the abdomen and to manipulate the organs and to perform the surgery. The whole surgery is visualized on a screen which is attached to your telescope via the camera. So the whole surgery is visualized on a screen and performed through minimal access, hence also called as a minimally invasive or minimal access surgery. The surgery is also called as a keyhole surgery among common people because most of the incisions used in this surgery resemble a small keyhole. So it's commonly called as keyhole surgery among normal people. What are the advantages of laparoscopic surgery? As I told before, there are a lot of limitations of open surgeries in the present era. A, a very busy man or a, a person who is constrained for time cannot afford an open surgery nowadays because as I said earlier you need a hospital stay of at least three to four days and then a healing or a resting time of maybe one or two weeks at home but in a laparoscopic surgery the surgery is very fast and the patient can be discharged within 24 to 48 hours if there are no complications the pain associated with the surgery is quite less because your incision size is very small so the amount of painkillers and the analgesics required to suppress the pain is also relatively less. Once the patient goes back home, the patient can resume his or her normal activities within 24 to 48 hours and no additional rest of a week or a bed rest is not required in this case. So for the present man who is very pressed for time, laparoscopic surgery is the ideal form of surgery for almost all the surgeries which are performed these days. Laparoscopic surgery was not very well known or at least not popular 15 to 20 years back but with technological advancement and advancement in the skills of the surgeons performing it, it has become a very popular route of surgery now and has almost replaced open surgery and has become the gold standard of surgery in almost all procedures which have been performed these days. Especially in our field of gynecology, laparoscopic surgery has become the gold standard or the primary route of surgeries in at least 90% of the surgeries we perform. So it is recommended that unless and until there is a, a absolute contraindication for laparoscopic surgery, it's always best to perform almost all procedures through this route.